I want to talk about 2020 because not only was it a, a wild year for everyone, but it was also your first official season. It was your rookie year. So talk about 2020 and just not knowing if we were going to play baseball and then you having the year you did ultimately winding up in the postseason and starting two games in the World Series. I mean, what a whirlwind of a year that had to be. How crazy was that for you from from start to finish? Do you ever look back like, what a year that was? Yeah. Um, you know, we got the, the heads up in March that, uh, you know, we're shutting down the season and um, there was no real timetable of when and when we were going to return. Uh, in my mind, I was hoping it was maybe like a month because uh, I was – I was able to stay on top of it. I think we were able to still go into the field for a little bit after after we got shut down. And then, like, I think it was, like, two weeks later, we were no longer able to go into the, the spring training complex. So then I remember, like, the whole month of April was just kind of, like, on your own. Um, playing catch with Dustin. I was playing catch with weighted balls on a wall, just kind of finding any way I could to, uh, to like, play catch or keep my arm moving. And then... Um, come like May trying to find places to throw bullpens and stay ready and all that stuff. Cause we really had no idea when anything was going to start back right, up. So you couldn't really so shut it down. You kind of had yeah, to you, stay so ready. You couldn't shut it down. You couldn't like ramp up too much. I was throwing <laughs> bullpens in, in a guy's backyard. It was, it was kind of incredible, but, uh, but yeah, overall was just, you know, trying to do my best to keep my body ready. And then, um, we finally get the notice to, uh, to head to LA so we can start our spring training 2.0 and uh, the week before intake testing, I tested positive. And uh, so I had to get like shut down for two weeks. So I started spring training late that year. Wasn't really sure what was going to, what that was going to do, but I was playing catching in my hotel room uh, in my apartment <laughs> in LA, just throwing balls into a net, uh, just trying to get by. And uh, yeah, overall just tried to do my best to, to stay ready. Were you throwing how do you throw balls in a hotel room? Uh, very carefully, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I had I had like a pop up net that like barely fit, um, and it was every throw it was like just enough to like take the speed away from hitting the window. So it was like, yeah. It Have was, you it ever was... seen the? It's like a a bag almost that you can put and strap around your wrist. You're holding a baseball in it, and you can you can throw it as hard as you want. Have you ever seen those things? Yeah, yeah. I've seen those before. Never actually used one, but it's like uh, similar to like a sock throw, or yeah. like the, the cheap version, I guess. You would just put like a tube sock on your arm and put a have a baseball. <laughs> in <your arm laughs> that on that is yeah, that's, that's kind of the cheap version of it. So you end up that year, 2020, which is the weirdest year of all time, making it to the World Series. You, as a rookie that year, started two games in the World Series. It's kind of like an opener. Uh, and game six, the clincher, you started as well. So heading into that World Series, did you know that you were going to have a few opener opportunities? Or was it kind of like, hey, Tony, we need you tomorrow. Can you go start in the World Um. Uh, yeah, it was a weird it was a weird playoffs for me. Um, I went a few days without pitching because we uh, beat the Brewers in two and then the Padres in three I believe and so we swept both of them but uh so I didn't get to throw in any of those series so it was kind of weird and then going into the NLCS against the Braves got my first uh my feet wet in playoffs um threw okay uh kind of unfolded a little bit um like fourth fifth inning or something like that but uh yeah going into the the World Series I didn't know um, I knew when I was going to throw, uh, Doc had told me which games I was going to start. And, uh, the plan wasn't to be an opener, but, uh, just kind of worked out that way. And, uh, uh, yeah, our bullpen did great and our hitters picked us up when, uh, when we needed it. And it was, it was an unbelievable experience. So it wasn't the plan to be an opener, but you started game two on two days rest. I mean, do you have to go back to, to your bullpen days? Do you think going from your bullpen days to that kind of helped you prepare? Because most starters, I mean, aren't able to to do that. You tell somebody you're going to start on a couple of days rest. Did you just pull back from your bullpen days and say, all right, go get them? Uh, I mean, yeah, you just kind of go out there and, and give it what you got. Yeah. Wait, so, one, congratulations on winning the World Series. It's incredible. So, I mean, a little kid from, I mean, 
you don't even dream of that. That's incredible. But so you end up winning that year. Where, where's where do you keep your World Series ring? By the way, have you worn it one time ever? Um. Well, we wore it to the White House uh, when we got to visit the White House last year. Uh, so that was pretty cool. But uh, other than that, no, I haven't haven't worn it at all. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.